Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about quick steps in Microsoft Outlook and showing you how they work and how to use them. Okay, so we have a test inbox here in Microsoft Outlook. So how you use the quick steps, if you right click on an email or multiple emails, you'll have this option for quick steps and then you'll have some defaults. This one is one that I created already and the rest of these were defaults that came with Outlook. So for example, if we pick to manager, the default setting is to forward and to, and this is the first time setup, so there's nothing in the to box here. You could take them from your contacts or type in an email address, and you could even change the name to supervisor or boss or whatever you want. And then every time you right click on that email, it will forward that email to that person who you specify or people. You could also add a group if you have a group configured in Outlook. And then if you click on options, you could see more of the details here. And there's even some shortcut keys. If you don't want to have to right click, you could use some of these shortcuts instead. Then you have some options here to expand on. So if you want to put forward in the subject in there, if you want to flag it, change the importance, add some text when it's forwarded, or send after a minute delay, you could do that as well. Then you could also add an action if you want to add an additional action, such as once it's forwarded, you could have it deleted or permanently deleted or marked as red, and so on. So you'll notice when you use one of these for the first time, you're going to have to configure it, for some of them that is. Then we have this one, mark as done, reply and delete, okay. reply and delete. So when you click on this, it'll let you send a reply and then delete the email. So watch what happens, actually we'll do it on one of these here that I don't care about. So watch that email will actually delete itself and open a reply box. So you can see it automatically deleted the email and opened up a message to reply. But the catch here is if you cancel this reply, you know, close it out and don't save it, then that email is still going to be deleted and you'll have to get it from your trash. So I'll do that. Don't save the changes, but that email is still gone. All right, let's see what else we got here. Then you could create new. So this will give you a blank one. You could choose your actions here out of these categories. So they're kind of like rules in a way but you apply them to specific emails on demand. And then, so you could add more than one. And so on, and create a shortcut, give it a tooltip text description if you want. And then also, when you go to new quick step, you'll have some default settings here, you know, move, categorize, flag, forward. And if you click on custom, that's the same as clicking on create new. And then you can manage your quick steps. So these are the ones that I already have here. So for example, the Cindy one here, it'll move to emails from Cindy folder and mark it as red. So I have emails from Cindy folder and then I'll mark it as red. So let's try this one here. So this is the uh, email templates for Gmail on your mobile. Okay, so it should have moved it to Cindy. There it is, and marked it as red. And if we want to do the same thing for more than one email, so now they're both gone and moved to emails from Cindy. And it'll keep them in the date. So when you move it to the folder, it's not going to put it on top. It'll still put it in the date order of when that email came in. So you'll have to you know, go look for it. So don't expect it to show up on the top when you do something like this. All right, so that's about the uh, gist of it. It's pretty simple to use. Just use one of the pre-configured ones or edit the pre-configured ones or create your new one from the default categories or do a completely new one from scratch. And like I said, it's kind of like creating a rule, but then you just use it to apply to emails as needed. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.